Do you guys know what time it is? It's time for Dean's Greasy Flips. this 12 hours from crush and it's for sale guys because it was going to go to the crusher <laughs> it's a little pontiac like a laurentian or something right where is this sitting now oh in my buddy's yard right now i just bought it it was going to the crusher he's like dean don't don't let this die and i'm like you're right man it's a yeah look at that what year it's is like it a, a 66 laurentian yeah what's the motor oh it's a c's 283 unfortunately is it a glide or a stick it's a i think it's a glide car nice I bought it sight unseen. I saved it from the crusher. So I, this car, oh, mom, this car is like not the greatest car to start with, guys. Come on now. That's <laughs> not, a, you're not selling me. But you can see what this. What about that? It's got dishes. How many dishes? I think, I think four dishes. And it's got no all the scrap metal underneath it. See, it was going to the, it was going to the baler. Like, look at the scrap metal underneath. The, the car was going to oh, get hauled no. off. It was going right to crush, but Dean swooped in. Run, with this run, big bag man. of money. And he <laughs> 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 but look, there's a dish on the front. Uh, but uh, my buddy's like, hey, man, Dean, it's cool. It's cool, but yeah, it's, cool. it's not. I mean, whatever. Can you see the front again? I had a front picture. Oh, come on, Dean. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there's the front of it. It wasn't punched or anything, but it's, you know. Eh. It's 65 or 6? Six? 6. 6. Anybody want a baser Laurentian? Four door, two eighty three. That's uh, C's two eighty three. Yeah, C's two eighty three. But I did buy it's it. A decent ish bits. So there, it's for sale. I'm selling. Yeah. What you, what's the number on this? Uh, you know what, man? You told them that you paid scrap, so I'll you gotta you make. You gotta double your money. So five double scrap. How about um five hundred and fifty dollars? Five fifty. It's all cleaned up now. It doesn't look really? like this anymore. Yeah. Well, why did you? Well, it's got, we gotta get us up to date then. Yeah. Uh, Laurentian. It's nice. a Laurentian. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the greasy flip, guys. And it's thanks not for a watching. Bad flip ski. Thanks yeah. for yeah. You got anything else? No, just that one I bought. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No, I'm trying to get rid of stuff, man. I gotta stop. Yeah, well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Here's God, your it's my my. It's like I can't help myself to buy shit. Like, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm just like I'm just always buying. Like, that's going to crush. I don't want that to die. And then I see like a trailer with crushed cars on it. And I'm like, oh, I gotta save that '78. Grand Le Mans or whatever. You know, I'm yeah, like, but, oh. yeah, but yeah. then I'm like, no, you don't need that. You don't need it. Just pay. Don't pay attention to that. Just focus, 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 and it's hard. But the Pontiac, I'm not gonna do anything. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm not gonna do anything with that Pontiac, and it's gotta go. I'm sure it's. I mean, it's kind of cool. To yeah, yeah. Ones. I like. I mean, I, but, those are cool. But man, that's a car where a good one's a couple grand. You know, they're not worth a lot of they're money. Not so worth just, anything yeah. at all. Yeah. I'm gonna be like four grand. <laughs> just kidding. But it just yeah, I didn't want it to die. But really, like, who cares? Like, ugh, I have a Pontiac. There you go, guys. Yeah, there you go. It's there a you Pontiac. go. Right now, we can't drive the Pontiac, but there's a Pontiac there. Okay. And thanks for joining us tonight on Dean's Gracie Flips. You guys have a good night. Catch you next time. Okay, I'm still uh, determined to fix the Volvo uh, S90 Winter Beater Challenge Car. Uh, so, uh, while I'm waiting for my friend to be able to pull the, uh, the post, uh, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, there's no problem, there's no hurry. I've been pretty busy on the Fury anyway, uh, but I thought uh, I'll take a few minutes here and we'll strip the interior out of this so I can get rid of these dead doors. That's about all that we're doing on Volvo Update. We'll have a look here. There's really nothing to see. We've got the old ones from the, uh, from the uh, whatever that thing was, 960. Uh, yeah, it's essentially the same car. Well, I handed this shit job off pretty skillfully, wouldn't you say? Yeah, pretty quickly. Man, that was just going so sideways. Lucky assistants and friends stop by. I'm just page to page one of the rule book. I'm just trying to arsehole it out of there. Just arsehole it out. Well, can't we just... Look, I have this half unhooked in here. It's probably... It can't be Christing rockets. I don't know. There's some cable and shit there. Oh, yeah. You can see the whole thing. Yeah. That's why I went for a light. Oh. This is like three seconds on this side. Yeah.
Did you say three seconds? Oh, I don't remember. I, I might have said that back. I might we'll have, have said that. Have to check the records. Everything is on camera. I don't remember saying that. I don't remember. That's what everybody says. Do you want a longer screwdriver that has more lever edge? No. Nope. Done. Yes. Pliers. Oh, it's almost out. It's just got a. What a fucking nightmare. Thing. Okay. Just getting going. It's gravy, buddy. Nice. Look at that. That's pretty bicycle great. Eh? Yeah. But you know, they even they even put a little rubber booty on here. Uh, but we need that just for the trim, right? So we put that. Then this can all go outside in the snow. Cause once that car has tags, this can all go to the dump. Sketchy old motorcycles over the over the internet. Over the internet. Bought sight, sight unseen. unseen. Not always perfect. Exactly. Not as advertised. Shock. Shocking. Yeah. So what are we doing? For the 150 scratches in my high uh, build primer. There's a few there. You can see them right there. So yeah. Well, the tedious taking it from more there. taking it from 150 up to 400. The thing is, you block it in 150, so it's already straight. This is what I was saying to Miles the other day. It's like if you're if you're still trying to straighten it out when it's in 400, <laughs> like like you, you know, need a lot just of paper. don't make it worse. If you're careful and you don't make it worse. Okay, so what color is it going to be? I have the paint over there. If the internet wants to see. <laughs> the internet needs to know. Let's have a look. What's the machine again? 1972. 72 Suzuki 350. What model? Uh, 350 Rebel. 350 Rebel. Alright. That's what it's going to be, people. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. What uh, does it match to any particular car? It. No, I don't recall. It was a, just a paint code. Oh, but I, or... I took the side cover with me and. Yeah, good. Came back with the closest approximation. We have coat one on the Suzuki 350. Not any particular shade of blue, but a very, very authentic looking blue so far. Good. What do you think? Guns behaving? Looks good? Yeah, seems fine. Easy. I'm, I'm dusting it from the face back, so yeah. I probably could get closer, but I don't want to close it on anything like that. Well, when you're covered, you shouldn't be able to tell the difference between that and that and that and that. They should all be the same color. Yeah. Well, so you, might, you got just a tint on there now. It might take a few coats. All right. I'm not in any hurry. No, it's great. Dust it on. Okay, that's coat one. Let's put a couple more. Coat number two starting to get pretty pretty covered. Yeah. Oops. What did I just see? No, oh, we're working. Okay. Yeah. Nice. It's a lot. You got one there oh. if you want to attack that guy out. Some shit there too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that all comes out. Right. So, you got it going on pretty dry. It's almost instant, right? So yeah, don't be afraid of it. It all comes out. Pretty good here, a little bit maybe, but pretty good there. Like it's a little more, it's a little tougher than you think, especially if you're gonna keep I gotta going. Get closer and fucking pour the paint on. No. No. I'm just afraid to rush it. No, don't. Never. Does it reach? It feels kind of at a natural speed. Yeah. You know how nice and crispy the edges are. That's the stuff that matters. For dodgy tape that came out of it. We're having a pinstripe race. Oh man, I don't want to rush it. That's right. I'm slowing down. I got a shorter corner though. My radius was so much tighter. Yeah, but the next corner is all mine. Yeah, that's true. The finishing corner. Yeah. All I have to do is just stay even. You better pull ahead or you're going to lose. Good pun. Oh, I might have, oh, I have to regroup. Be careful, you gotta 
Yeah, it's not pulling a little too enough. sharp. It's not. You can come up a tiny bit, so it comes off with the tape. That's all. Oh, I'm pulling ahead now. You can hear the Dean's greasy clips going on in the background. Yeah. What did he flip this week? I've got my second stripe going and pulling into a pretty healthy lead. Yeah, this is... Oh, so he's got the inside corner. Okay, so all you gotta do is, oh, you got that side to do it. Oh, that looks sweet. I think we're gonna have to wet sand the haze <coughs> off of there. Well, you, you gonna clear over it or? No, it's too much. 8,000 seems possibly a little extreme, but what do I know? We're just trying to take the lightest dusting of overspray off. Jeez, maybe 8,000 is exactly what we need. Can't hurt to try okay. it. It doesn't work, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's not gonna make it worse. Yeah, it looks great. Nothing that'll look polished on top. Yeah, no, that doesn't hardly need much at all. We'll have to take a picture. A lot of paint on there. A lot of clear. A lot of clear. That was some brave passes at the end there. Very nice, nice brave passes. Side covers look mint. Let's see. There we go. Right on. Oh, well, that'll all clean up pretty good. Once you put the new emblems on there and whatever. That's good color, really nice. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, so whatever everybody else is doing, we're pounding out more moldings. Um, this is the, um, I think this is the driver's door. So most of it's pretty good, but there's a pretty bad dent. It's flattened right up here at the front of it. Damage is all in there. So, uh, it's kinked right there. Looks like it's just from hyper extending the door and one of the, uh, dozens of <laughs> tragic minor incidents in this car's history. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if it's very easy to see that. There, maybe this helps. See a pretty good wanger in it there. So, let's just try it. There's the uh, door molding after, I don't know, probably took a couple hours to get that out of there. There's the back end of it, and there we are as far as getting it up to where it's ready to file, or rather, ready to sand. There's a little low spot in it there. But uh, I don't care. It's all folded over there. I'm not going to unfold it for that. So we'll uh, sand it and I'll tap that uh, edge back into place there. And uh, we'll see how it looks in a minute. There's another one. There was another one. Yeah, there was a little one at this end that I just decided I'd do at the same time. So. That guy is not going to give any trouble now. Let's shine it up. Quick before shot of, uh, oh, it's, it's six weeks later and we're still pounding dents out of the Plymouth wings here. I don't know what this is. Dave, what do you think? Looks more like more barbed wire possibly. I think it's this here. That's pretty, it's uh, it's I don't know. That's... Bottle. Yeah, I don't know why that's like that, but anyway, it's badly damaged. One, two, three. Oh, and a gouge. And this is quite—I don't know—will this thing work? Stay with us, Mr. Camera. <laughs> it's quite gouged. So, ah, uh, man. No. Oh, anyway, uh, I don't know if I have any more of these. I might find a better one. Then I'm gonna be mad that I fixed this, but. 
This is tail fin update. That came out really nicely. Still not polished, but sanded. And where are the dents? So that was the double barbed wire showdown dent. That uh, came out really quite well for for a salvagey job. And beside it was uh, Oh, this was double gouge dent on the other side. That's here. So you can see there's a tiny speck left there, but uh, I don't care. Oh yeah, there was one here as well. That one is that one. So, yeah, for something that really was not very usable, uh, I fixed a couple other little ones and just gave her the old once over. Once that's buffed and back on the car, I think she'll look fine. What other one do we finish? The... Oh, this was the driver's door, right? Driver's door, there's the repair we had to do at the front of it. There it is from the inside. And uh, there we go. And there was a couple others that weren't so bad. And the rest of it is nice and straight now. So we're moving down this side of the car pretty quickly here. What's left is front fender. There's a little ripple there that I wasn't going to fix, but now you know how it goes. Um, there's a little dent there. There's a dent here that I've started on. Uh, it's hard to see it already. And uh, I don't know. So that one's not too bad. This is the behind the door. I think this one's pretty good. Which would be great because this one's really important. Oh, no, there's a little dent. Uh, there's a dent at the front of it. But really, I have a very good chance of having all of these done by the end of today, so that would be terrific. And we're back with more smashed up boogie van parts challenge. Hey, mini braggers. You ready to join us for Smashed up boogie van challenge? You don't care, do you? Okay, this is, what did you say? Passenger side? Passenger, passenger side, side underneath the sliding door. Yes, rocker panel. Oops. So it looks like there's an, an inner, it comes down in an S shape and terminates here. And, and it is, uh, Compared to this guy, which is just a mirror of it almost, which we are going to bring up and then back in, and then Ash can weld it along here. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, we're going to start with this outer piece, and then I think what we'll do in the interest of making this simple is we'll just point at the end there, boss. We'll make this area separately. There we go. Man, better shows have more than two people. Hey. That's a perfect Quit wrecking seat. everything. Okay, that. Yeah. Right? Because as we go like this. Uh, uh, right? Uh, 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 to get that on video? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> there was some. Uh... Okay. So now it's all about the, the gradual curve, hey? Ish. To the... mm. So is he 
it just a whole lot of little bends? Is that the idea? Here? Inch and five eighths. Well, to get so this radius. Inch and three quarters, we start. Then we'll go all the way up to about three inches. Okay. It's going to be not easy. So there's no such thing as changing these pieces out for round sort of. No. That's the thing is it. It's so flimsy that you're going to get a pretty close to a smooth curve anyway. Because mm -hmm. you're not going to get a bunch of laser. You're just going to get a big mushy, mm -hmm. shitty kind of half-assed. It's not going to be nice. Do they make inserts like that though? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'd be curious Probably. to know if they. I mean, That's pretty good. Is that? Well, yeah. bent that over a curve. It yeah. Down. Yeah. yeah. Well, we talked about bending a ninety and then trying to mash the ninety over a piece of hard bar or something, and then yeah. we just thought, ah, who cares? <laughs> no, I, I agree. This is probably going to work fine. I'm just curious if there was another tool there. Well, good. That's it's it. Enough to move it. Yeah. Okay. Can you see a mark there where you were? Yeah. You should be able to come ahead. We'll do it in eighth of an inch. No, go a quarter inch from your last mark. Can you see that? There's the mark. Okay, come down. Good, do it. So I will, hang on. And same amount. Good. Okay, yeah, good. A little harder this time, good. That's good, you're good. <coughs> See what happens. Come on. Uh, so Seemed like you cracked. Yeah. Grabbed a bit. Just keeps wanting to push it back. Well, there ain't much we can do. Uh, loosen it up. Uh, how far along are we supposed to be here by now? We gotta go back and really tighten up the first couple. Okay. So let's do that. Well. Okay, I'm on like number two. Go to number two. Mm. Okay, uh, try it. Good. Okay. Number three now. Okay. Take it right out. We need a uh, template check here. But we're getting a nice curve. Oh yeah. Without really trying very hard or doing a particularly good job. If anything, we got to go back and tighten up our right. very first one. Yeah, started then, earlier. Now, of course, we're replacing the whole thing, so it's if this is slightly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no. well. Yeah, it the, does a little bit because this matches up with a piece. Right. It so, does. Yeah. So we kind of need this to start sooner and finish sooner. Okay. Yours is in too far. Try and give it a good, uh, a good one. Good. I think that will be better. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Well, there's no way to really do it other than eyeballing. Right? I don't know. Just gonna fold and move a little bit more. Yeah. So that will serve Very close. for the rocker panel repair. And we've got lots of length. So I'm gonna trim that up. And uh, yeah, fairly, fairly straight ahead. Yeah.
<laughs> That's perfect. And now we'll make this little piece. So we'll cut that into here. And then that is done. And then we'll make the, this is just a, an S bend, isn't it? The other one? Yeah, that's all pretty simple. There, needs to turn into this. Is right. it possible? We're gonna try, well, this is going to become kind of this area, and then we're gonna weld it to this, which is somewhere here already, there. So, yeah. we're really, this is a bit, there's a, it's quite a, quite a corner there. We're gonna, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna just <laughs> smash it with hammers. Okay. Here, let's start by shrinking a bunch of it from our paper pattern. This is a pretty massive. Look at the torturing of the metal. Okay, go. This is gonna be weird. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Go. Gotta change the direction now. Well, it's easy, right? If we keep going, it's gonna keep curling the wrong way. But okay. if I change it now, it's already starting to curl the right way. Because we have to pinch it anyway. No, we no, have, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Because so, this is the part that needs to come down. Yeah. So, what we're trying to do, really, what are we trying to do exactly? Oh, this is trying to fold up, am I right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to fold this all up. So, right here. And then, back down in the case of here and here, right? So that's fine. Let's, uh, let's keep doing it then. starting to become sure not too not fighting us look at the amount of depth we got there huh. with almost no work <laughs> right we've hardly done anything except shrink this edge and pull this all up and then now we have to 
Well, Carry we have to beginning. get this guy out. So, uh, is that a take? It looks a like take. a take. We've got inner and outer rocker panel repair section, and right, so. See the bottom of it there. There we are. So that guy and that guy are there, and then this guy. Oops, I had to make it separately so Ash can weld the uh, corner piece onto here when he puts the rest of it together. So that was a fun little piece and uh, not really. That involved well a little bit a little tricky but fun and uh, that'll go once he there's no point in me welding this all here now yeah I'll go take it home it would be impossible to make any adjustments and this stuff always needs a little tweaking so no point in signing at a permanent location just yet but uh, that'll be fine that will, and that will take so care much of to work with that's uh, a large percentage of the structure on the van yep. done, hey? Yep. Nice. Nothing stopping me with me now. Well, I, nobody would say that you've wasted your time on this thing. Because the whole bottom half of the van, somebody even asked, is he replacing the bottom eight inches of the whole van? And Pretty much. The answer is yes. Yeah, yes. It is, literally. It's all garbage. It's all garbage. And it didn't even look that bad, right? Even in the other videos, it was No, it normal. looked all right, but you could see, you oh, know, yeah. and then you start looking and then you're like, shh. Yeah. yeah, it's it's coming. Yeah. A little bit yeah. every day, right? Well, right. That's how they're gonna get done. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to paint it. That fits nice, man. Look at that. It's gonna yeah. be great. That'll be just fine. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, easy, yeah. man. Killer. Fun, fun, and fun and easy. Uh, yeah. Well, and. You know what I see that is encouraging is it seems to go from really rusty to not rusty at all. Right. Which Soon is kind of nice. Cut, yeah, I see you didn't, like that. you didn't waste any, like you didn't take more than you had to. Yeah. But it's funny, like this is just garbage and then an inch away it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's like which is good. Yeah. Which is good. I mean, that's better than the whole, this is all, there wasn't much, you know, nobody can accuse you're you of being need, you're not being reckless here. That's just garbage. There's nothing there. That's, I was worried about this piece with this tight bend, but man, yeah. it's yeah, it looks pretty gonna close. look fine, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. That'll look just do fine. Do you have the door on the van right now? I do, yeah. Oh, okay. So that's so the reference. That'll be your reference yeah. for, yeah. And the thing is, you can you can tighten that up or loosen it by just pulling on it. Right. Uh, you know, you can fine tune that pretty easy. Just, just get to where we can paint it. Yeah. Let's just get to the fun shit. <laughs> Literally. Hey, Frank or Franks? Oh, you've been such a good girl. You must have got bored of harassing everybody. Frankly, you were 
nice Excellent. puppy. I think it was the, uh, the frisbee toss. Yeah, we played a lot of frisbee and made Frankers a very tired girl today. Oh, you're huffing and puffing. Wow. Is that on the good. island visiting family? Yeah, yeah, back on the island, back on that frog pond. That nice. It's good naked. to get back to your LTD. Oh, good to get back to, yeah, reality. Last time I left here, I lost a hub cap, so maybe, yeah, it's good. a fun car. It I is. like driving it. And, and it started right up for you. Fired right up. Great. It's a great car. So, what we need to do, where's yeah. your ignition? Oh. Did you get a new ignition switch? Yeah, but rock on. Uh -oh. Huh? Lot the keys in there, man. The car actually says it now. So oh, it's the there winter, you go. winter beater. Yeah. <laughs> no one would have ever guessed. Yeah, and then I got the Cold War on the other side. I think oh, was. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to fly the flag, buddy. You're right, and I have it. Yeah, I know nice. it's going to get. Yeah, I got to fly the flag high. Oh, check this out, guys. Dun, 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 NOS 79 LTD emblem. Oh, nice. Well, we're putting that on, too. Yeah, one, one fellow actually sent this to me. That and he nice. didn't need it, and he's like, he just messed. I, I said, I gotta fix my emblem. He goes, I got a brand new one. That's well, that's cool. Well, we'll put that on to celebrate fixing the ignition. Is that what yeah, this is? Yeah, yeah. We can't put it on yet. And then I have a that's ignition from There's Rock Auto. Okay, yeah. good. So what did we do last time? Oh, and I think I have, screwdriver. I, yeah, and I have your light down here. Oh, why is it on? Oh, well, it's hell? dead now. Check uh, out this weak ass ignition. Well, I mean, it'll work. But it has the actual light, like you were saying, remember that? Yeah, okay. I remember being half cut over here and yeah. not remembering much, but here we go. But it's, it's you know, it's, well, it works. Yeah, we'll bring it up to the shop and we'll give it a little oil and make make her good. Sure. Okay, okay I'll bring it. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring Then we'll get some tools and we'll be yeah. right um, back oh, with and, LTD yeah, I got your fix up. It's much easier than doing it at minus 20. Right? Oh, even this, this phone makes a pretty decent camera. Then we'll take the crike for a rip. Yeah, we'll just stick with your, we'll just stick with the iPhone camera for now for today yeah for today i oh, ran yeah. over the other one they're lost man how's that for light <laughs> yeah it's perfect uh i, I don't so. remember i don't remember is there any more parts i don't think so there's that there's that uh gear in there right we need the isn't there a snap ring or there's something? a little snap ringy thing isn't there i thought there was but we would have put oh wait uh no it's not back in there it would have been the ashtray if we oh remember this has a key on it so it only goes in one way there we go uh is the light okay there for you yeah that's good and that goes ouch there cool. and then this goes just uh just kind of clicks over top of it i think where's the actual so it won't go that way. It goes this, this way. way. But it will, but it barely goes this way. Well, here's half your fucking problem. Oh, you'll never get that in there. Holy shit. Oh. Well, part of it is that it's all mashed up from. Okay, let's. Years of. Yeah, yeah we have to take this up to the shop and make it fit. Otherwise, we're wasting our time. All That's right. the problem here. So, all what right. we got, it looks like there's just a big mold, like a casting yeah. line there. Oh, yeah. And uh, so we take that and really just have to dress this a bit so that because dean bought jimmy chang parts. he bought the chang part and eight dollar chang part but whatever eight yeah. bucks new yeah. wow that's a great deal yeah how can you complain <sighs> can't I, really yeah, can't complain can't complain but sometimes we still do yeah well it's my own fault being for being cheap <laughs> yeah but you know what that's okay it might work for us sure it'll work okay, and, and dress that up and then here LTD, same problem it's not a delahaye you know it's <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's, you told, no, yeah. uh, that would win Winter Beater yeah, Challenge, though, eh? Hey? Nice Della Hay. Hay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would, yeah, that would win for sure. <laughs> oh wow! I wonder how Alex is doing his Granada. That's a lot easier. Well, oh, that's better. Yeah. And okay. now it's still a little. A little eh. See, I thought there was a certain way that that gear went in. I wasn't sure, but I remember. Well, I... there is, right? And that's the thing. And there's a certain way. All of this only goes in one way. Yeah, because the next morning when I tried to leave here, I it took me like half an hour to start it, and I think I pulled the gear out, and I was like, "What am I doing?" Well, I wondered because I was up and I saw the car sitting. Yeah, there, I was sitting. like sitting there in the car. 
deburring. See, it's it's such a, a thin pin there. You can see how easy those four positions break, hey? Because it's so thin and small. Like well, that. it breaks here. Yeah. yeah. And there's just probably fatigues along there and just eventually breaks off. Oh, wow. But well, this is the bugger, is that... The car was in the right... It has to go through a slot. It has to go through a oh, hole to get... right. So this has to be in the right position. Correct. Engaged on the gear. And then we have to turn the key to the right position, slide it through that into here, and then that pin to, yeah. pops in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. But Because when I back this out, boom, there, it's the off. pin goes oh, in. Oh, the pin goes in. It locks right? in. Yeah. But now so. you're screwed there because... Hmm? Because now this is off kilter now. It's supposed to... Oh, ah, yeah, it's tricky. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it's all got to happen at the same time. Yeah. So, so what we need to do is make sure... It's... And I think what happened is when the gear fell out on you, mm -hmm. it went back in one tooth off. I think so, too. Still enough to work, but not enough to get this ah, to line up. That's why I should have told you that. Because yeah. I know... Yeah, I remember no the... Look at how nice that is. Because when I take Just the car to work... I was so careful. It's nice. I take the car to work, I have to go very carefully with the screwdriver and just, you know, yeah, so yeah. it wouldn't fall out again. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's way good. It better. It was only supposed to get you home, so the rest yeah. of it's good. It's in good shape. The gear, like, there's no, yeah, there's no wear or wear. On it. Okay, we'll just put a little grease on everybody, and then that's little, good. Too. Yeah, 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 a little grease on her just to. Just to make one. Now we're in all the way, and awesome. the little guy lines up. We yeah. just got to get the snap ring in there, and that's in the ashtray, okay. the Costco card. Yeah, and then we need to. The... Now this is gonna be tricky. Uh, where oh it's way there okay done oh nice job slid right in the groove eh well maybe, uh, maybe. let's get, I'll get the thing the, i'll get the light on you for you okay you want to have a look there with your glasses yeah. yep looks oh, fine okay so the pin's out of the way okay we're ahead a certain amount uh -huh. we have ignition on and the ignition is to the on position, and we are lined up exactly with the pin. Okay. Right? Yeah. Where does the pin go? There. Where's the pin? Go? Okay. So the slot should be lined up with the pin, which it is. Okay. So we should be in the neighborhood if we go here. Okay. There you go, buddy. Oh. Hang on, let's try it. I'll try this different, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good as new. Yeah, awesome, we'll thank put you. put the light together the and light, we're done. Light together and the column back together. So that's a light just to... Oh, I see, it's a buzzer. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a buzzer. Oh, it's a buzzer. Good. Gotcha. Good for you. Thanks. And we get the column back on, and we're done. Yeah. <laughs> then we do. The, the... I think someone's tampered with this car before. Like it's obviously. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's been around. <laughs> She's been around the block. She's, yeah. Another one that would have been to the crushers if Dean didn't step in real quick. Yeah. Well, if that's your fault. That's then. my own problem, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to say, it's not the worst car I've owned. You know. Well, come on. That's not saying yeah, much. Yeah, that's not saying much. Oh, good. <laughs> Look at that, it snaps in like great, eh? Hey? Yeah, on. so that'll hold it while you put the screws in. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's funny how even a little simple job like that can yeah. turn into a bit of an engineering yeah. situation. Okay, yeah, three right? more screws. Uh, thought there was one more, I thought mm, I took three out. Did you? Here's, is that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. There we go. Cool. Okay. And she's a take. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> no, Can't yeah. have Dean driving an old junker. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't want that. Uh, he wouldn't want that. Okay. Okay. Tools, glasses, lights. Let's do the hood ornament. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go to the trunk and go find. I have to find the nut. Okay. Cool. LTD updates. <laughs> LTD updates. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Yeah, she fits good. Good. I mean, it's not. Oh, Ooh, I see. It's got little uh, grooves in it. Yeah. It's got little grooves to. Yeah, good. Is that how it? Yeah, I guess so. As long as it threads on, it'll be fine. We might need to find a. Well. We got a wrench here. Have to go like this. Yeah. There she goes. Oops. Sort of. 
Kinda. Don't drop the nut. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. Nice. There we go. Better, better. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Oh God. Yeah, it's just not much room in here. Yeah, yeah. Do you want the wrench? Maybe, yeah. You got her close. I got her close, I'll take the wrench from you. Of course, it's tucked way under, like. Yeah, it's not gonna be super easy. Right. Now, that is where she sits. Good. Yeah. I can just get this damn some. wrench on here properly. Oh, yeah, you're getting there now, aren't you? I think so. I'm trying to. Maybe not. God. It's like I can't get enough meat on the bone here. Oh, sorry. Here, you want to film me? Yeah. Get a look at our tool. Oh, there we oh, go. There's a tool. Special tool. Oh, there we go. Light. Okay. Look, we're just get... we're just totally caveman tonight, eh? Like just oh. <laughs> getting her in there somehow. Just... <laughs> oh yeah. So nice. we want to go this way. Maybe. Is this gonna work or what? That sounds right, isn't it? I just don't know, man. Do you know? Oh, there we go. We got her. I think you're okay. Yeah, I think she turned. Nice. <laughs> yeah. One more. Okay, if we're gonna measure. Okay. Cool. Then down. down ready? Right, yeah. Ooh. Sweet. Look at that. Man, I have to say that Jim's got his work cut out now. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh, it's shiny and so nice. Do I. Look, it even has the little crystals uh, in. Yeah, it's so cool. Hey, you paid almost as much for that as the car. I, oh, I think I paid a little bit for it. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, it kind of feels like the car is kind of more complete. Now the car is happy. But the, yeah. I mean, you're not starting with a screwdriver. That's a good yeah. thing. Here, I yeah. You put okay. your tool in the trunk. And, yeah. I, and I bought those nice hubcaps I showed you in the picture. Remember those uh, nice ones? I, I, those, they're like more proper. These ones are, these ones fly off. So. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry guys. It's harmless. Get to a doctor immediately. Okay, it was close so I can get in there. Yep. Very brief touch of 2000. I'm only worried about the decal not existing. Yeah, for sure. So it's good enough to put a sticker on now, right? Yeah, good. Like we were never there. Like we were never there, except that there's no whatever. Good. Okay, what's the other one? The tank. Let's get the tank. Yeah, we were wondering what it was, but it's uh, it's just a random color from a color book. <clears throat> but Danny's right, it looks a lot like the first color of the game, clearly. Which I think was Chevy truck. Yeah, I think. 80 Chev. Mm -hmm. Something like that. It was like 80, 82 Chev. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This kind of looks it's similar to Stevenson's truck. Remember that? Yeah. That's right, that was about an 81 or whatever. That was like a 75. No, it wasn't that old. Yeah, it's got round headlight. No, doesn't it? I think it's a round headlight 4x4, four four, like you a got 75. Got a picture of it. Wow. They got a picture on the wall. Yeah. Said this side. Well, he bought that truck when he got ready. He had a, yeah. a Jeep Wagoneer or something. Yeah. Okay. Did you go onto the white side here? I did. I took like a little bit or all the way down? Uh, just to about here. Yeah, okay. Just just along the edge so of the You're not area. actually doing the side. No, I don't want I don't think I want to go any further than necessary. Only part of the white that I really touched was over here on the burner. Yeah. Color to polish. Yeah, it's obvious what it's 
come back. Well, sanding it, that kind of made it look like shit, but it just right. comes back so nice. Like there was a few mm -hmm. flaws and the camera can kind of see the odd little nib there, but man, no, it looks I'm nice. super happy right. with that. We're just driving that around, it's just going to be perfect. What tape? What bike? That little Suzuki 350. We can do some indoor stuff, but we yeah. can't exactly take it up and down that block yet. One of the uh, one of the things I had to do uh, today. It's warmed up a little bit. I want to try to get the 72 Newport running. excited to get going doesn't it um, okay well we'll get a battery and some gas and just uh, plan A is just dump gas in it and see what happens I don't think it's gonna put up too much of a fight I drove this car a lot so just it's been sitting since I put the Fraser on the road which was uh, coincidentally right about when the transmission went out of it so anyway we can't back it out of here so we have to drive it out or pull it out Either way, it's going to need a lot of digging. Let's see if we can get it running first. We're not wasting our time. The first time this thing started in a few years. Let's see if she'll go. Good. It's a good start. gas in it. Crazy. Huh. That was easier than I thought. Oh, that buzzer is just awful. This is awful. There. Gosh. Okay. Well, here until it smooths out. Just fouled all the plugs and I dumped all that fuel in it. Uh, well, I wonder how much of this uh, car still works. Oh. Signal light there. Oh, that one's been burned out forever, that's right. Alright, well, seems I have some steering, I think. too much to hope that it'll move. Well, I'm going to let it run in neutral here and uh, fill up the torque converter or whatever it is that they do in there. We're going to find out when we rip it all apart and 
next uh, next thing is to get it out of this hole that's been sitting in sunk in pretty good I may have to get Tom on the job here we're back and uh, the Chrysler is out of the hole Tom just left I would have recorded the process but uh, I managed to run over the camera so that's exciting so we're just taping on my phone which I also ran over so I'm pretty proud of myself today so my $200 car just ran over my $400 camera. I will uh, go over the car lightly and make sure that everything's working properly. And then we'll maybe take it for a spin if Dean comes over. And then it's going to go over to Dan's. The transmission kit has arrived. So sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll, uh, we'll start putting the transmission together for it. But meanwhile, nice to see it least out of the hole here fired right up runs like a top no worries at all so uh, just looking forward to putting it back together it's been parked for oh, at least four years since the transmission failed so be nice to see it put back on the road it's always been a good reliable car Same old shit. <laughs> <laughs>